anybody who knows Steve knows he loves adventure. He likes to tell jokes. He likes to make people laugh. He has a love of family. Anybody that's been here this weekend gets it. Uh, Debbie told me they're, they're the McCrazies, and I can't think of a better term for it. Anybody that's seen uh, Steve interact uh, with Rogan this weekend, um, I've been able to, to be around that uh, since day one with Rogan. He has a love of fatherhood. For as long as I can remember, my sister and I have been super close. Thank you for playing infinite hours of Beauty and the Beast for me. Thank you for teaching me to never give up on my dreams. Thank you for showing me that it's very possible to find our soulmates. And most importantly, thank you for being a consistent shining light for me, even in the darkest times. One morning, Steve walked into my office for his morning debriefing, and he just kind of sat back and leaned back in his chair, and he said, I met a really cool girl this weekend. Ever since then, my morning debriefings have had Kathy in them, and I've gotten to know her through those uh, talks with Steve. There are not enough words I can say about you, Steve, to truly capture the man that I see sitting next to my sister. You're an amazing father to your son, and Rogan's an amazing kid. Um, so I'm really happy that I get to call you my brother now because you've been, always been family to me. Kathy is very spontaneous, so don't laugh at her decisions because you are one, okay? Um. <laughs> they are two great people who I just can't imagine my life without. I love you both with my whole heart, and I hope to one day find a love as pure and as honest as yours. And when the words out, long we You know it's going to work out when you look at two individuals separately, and when they're together, they're better than the individuals themselves. I can attest that they are perfect for one another. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. It is discovering what marriage can be at its best. I will always find a way to love you, babe. The most remarkable moment in a person's life is when you meet that person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world beautiful and magical. That person whom you share a bond so special it transcends everything in life. So pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day without that person. This union has been many years in the making and ultimately leads us to being here today to celebrate this occasion. Steven, your love gives me the ability to be my completely authentic self. And because of that, I am able to love you in a way I've never known I was capable of. I am so grateful that you can be your authentic self with me as well, even if it means me looking at you thinking, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Kathy, my darling, saying that you are my best friend just doesn't seem to do justice to what you are for me. You are the person that I think about the most. You are my person who I know I can rely on when I'm anxious, when I'm stressed, I vow to make the most of every moment we share while always giving you room to grow. I promise to never stop maintaining a relationship with our family, whether they're alive or deceased, blood or not. I vow to never try to change who you are, but I promise to always push you to be the best version of yourself. I vow to never stop having random dance parties in supermarkets. <laughs> I promise to give you my time and attention 
and not just what's left over after a busy day. To take care of you when you're sick, even when we're on vacation in St. Croix, Mexico, <laughs> camping, California, every time we're on vacation. I vow to always put our family first and to be the most proud and devoted bonus mom to Rogan. I vow to never stop cheating in Monopoly for you so that one day you might beat Rogan. I vow to support you in all of your dreams, all of your successes, and all of your failures too. And I promise to encourage and work for you to have more time with Rogan. I vow to choose love, our love, every day, no matter what hard times may come. To make sure that we have a life where we can have children, and I look forward to building our future. That we can play, that we can be goofy. And taking our Stanley Bench picture every single day, every single year. <laughs> and to never, ever stop lifting each other up. I love you. I love our family more than anything. That will never stop. Especially when we are old and gray.